We recently turned to the BuzzFeed community with a provocative question. What habits, if any, will you change now that Trump has been re-elected? The response is flooded in, brimming with raw emotion and bold declarations about the adjustments people are making, or have already started, to endure the next four years. Here's a glimpse into their plans for survival. The first person to think, I already do this, but I'm going to be a lot more intentional and frequent about reading and purchasing physical copies of books by LGBTQ, Black, Indigenous, people of color, immigrant, and other marginalized authors. I will also focus on books that are frequently challenged or banned, or could be in the next four years, such as nonfiction books about his first presidency. Knowledge is power. I will also get more involved in local and community organizing and politics since the federal government is well and truly cooked. The second thinker I've been regularly using intrauterine devices for years, and even though he still have a couple more years to go, he might get it replaced sooner despite how awful that experience is, just to make sure he have something with plenty of years to go, and not something that will need to be replaced mid-term. The third person say, I deleted all my social media accounts, except for BuzzFeed. I also cancelled all my news subscriptions, so it's not as easy to doom scroll and constantly get flooded with horrible news. I have my concealed carry permit, but I am going to have my husband, who is an ex-cop, show me how to actually use a gun safely and confidently. I will probably be more hyper aware of my surroundings in case men feel even more entitled to assault or harass me. I will be leery of going to large public gatherings for fear of violence. I'm probably just going to be a hermit these next four years. I spent a lot of money in the week after the election doing all the home projects I wanted before the prices get jacked up from the tariffs. I'm worrying more about fellow women and the LGBTQ community. The fourth individual considering. I'll stockpile certain shelf-stable foods. It's not doomsday prepping or anything like that, but if Trump's mass deportation goes through, food prices are going to skyrocket. What he and his supporters don't get is that most of our food is either harvested or processed by immigrant workers, many undocumented. All you have to do is look at what happened to Georgia in 2011. It cost the farmers their hundreds of millions of dollars. Now multiply that by every state. The economic impact is going to be traumatic. The fifth one to contemplate. I've already deleted my cycle tracking app and had my daughter do the same. Given the likelihood of further abortion restrictions and potential law enforcement supporting those restrictions, I will not give Trump's New America anything to use against us. I advise all women I know to get an intrauterine device placed as soon as possible so they have long-term pregnancy protection in place. And purchase emergency contraception pills to have on hand or share with a friend if needed. Blue states are not immune from federal restrictions. The train left the station after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, and it is now up to us to protect ourselves. The sixth person analyzing. I plan to put less money in the bank since I work in a cash industry, just in case they go full dystopian on us. The seventh mind reflecting. I'm considering getting my license to carry a gun and slash or getting a knife. I don't feel like my little keychain-sized pepper spray will be good enough anymore. The eighth individual mulling over. My passport has expired, but I plan to renew it, same for my husband and kids, just in case we need to flee under the cover of darkness. The Ninth Thinker Exploring I already deleted my Twitter account and have blocked numerous people on social media, I'm probably going to remove cable news channels from my lineup. I'll do my very best not to doom scroll, I'll stay in communication with like-minded people who are going to be fighting this nonsense left and right, a good friend of mine online said that life is too short to reactivate the year depression of the past, I agree with that so I will find joy wherever possible, but of course been closing, if you voted for Trump, I can't wait for your choice to backfire on you, because it's only a matter of time. The Tenth Person Evaluating I've been on birth control for years. I'm going to ask my midwife about permanent birth control, which I was going to do in a few years anyway, 
I don't want to experience periods and premenstrual syndrome again because the government outlaws birth control. The 11th soul deliberating. I'm no longer watching the news except one of the major network's evening news programs. I don't want to look at or listen to Trump or his supporters gloat. I plan on focusing on things I can control. The 12th individual imagining. I am considering canceling my first overseas vacation which I've been planning for two years and is scheduled for October 2025, I fear leaving the country, and then him blocking access to return. That's if I can still afford to go once the price of everything rises even more. The 13th person envisioning. I've been listening to more international broadcasting like BBC4 and BBC World Service. I also listen to CBC2 stay away from cable news. The 14th mind reasoning. I'm accelerating my timeline for moving to Spain. I'm done fighting. I'm done dealing with the fools. I'm just going to leave peacefully and get away from Make America Great Again supporters. The 15th individual reflecting. I plan to bring my husband to as many of my doctor appointments as possible, so that I have a white male to vouch for my choices. I hate that I don't trust medical personnel to listen to what I want, but I'm glad I have a husband who does. The 16th one analyzing, as a youth librarian, I will make sure I have enough cash to post bail when I'm arrested for the books I have available on my shelves. The 17th thinker mulling it over, as someone who doesn't sleep with men, but is a survivor of sexual assault, I bought several orders of generic emergency contraception just in case. I'm also on supplemental nutrition assistance program and worry about the incoming spike in inflation from tariffs and deportation and the gutting of social services, so I'm also buying tons of non-perishables. The 18th person pondering, I have been looking at moving to a blue state, New Mexico is probably the front runner right now because of the climate, many blue states are really cold, blue cities and red states no longer cut it, especially with gerrymandering. If all of Project 2025 does end up actually happening, then I will look to move countries. The 19th soul contemplating. I will build an emergency stash of food, water, and basic items. I'm not expecting the world to end, but I'm pretty sure we're in for some rough times in the next four years. The 20th mind considering. Spend less time on social media, I deleted my Reddit account two days ago, which to be fair was a long time coming. The popular page had interesting content, but then a post about unfathomable atrocities gained prevalence. I'm not a head in the sand slash ignore the world type of person, but some of those posts have caused me long lasting mental harm. Additionally, it's been nine years of dealing with Trump related politics and hateful social issues. I can't go another four years seeing them continually if I am going to stay in a relatively safe mental headspace. The 21st thinker reflecting deeply. Canadian here, like I did last time the former president was in office, I will consciously choose not to spend money on American-made products, and will avoid traveling to the USA. This time, I will also not click on news articles about him. It's too exhausting, he could do something terrible on live TV, then lie and say he didn't, and many would still defend him that bar for presidential behavior could not go lower, and I am going out of my mind, watching what Americans will condone. The 22nd person reasoning. I got my family citizenship in the European Union and Australia, I'm planning to use one or both of them. The 23rd individual exploring thoughts. No more taking the high road. When they go low, I'm going deep down too. Playing nice hasn't gotten us far enough. I'm done biting my tongue and being polite. I will also distance myself from those who voted for Trump for the economy. I have no time for people who value money over human rights and life.